Hi all, this is Abhay Mahajan and I welcome you all to this series called Inmo Question of the Day. And the question for the today uh, is show that any representation of 1 as the sum of distinct reciprocals of the numbers drawn from the AP 2, 5, 8, 11 and so on, such as given in the following example must have at least 8 terms. So there is an example which is given. So 1 upon 2 plus 5 plus 1 upon 8 plus 1 upon 11 plus 20 plus 41, 110, 164. So these are the, the numbers which are from the same AP, 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, uh, 17, 20 and so on. Inka sum 1 hai. Obviously there will be many such examples. The question is, there has to be at least 8 terms such that the sum of the reciprocals of these terms from this AP is equal to 1. There has to be at least 8 terms, right? So this is the question, you need to prove this. You can take a break. You can so pause this video, solve it yourself before uh, you resume this for the hint. Now, the hint is, the hint is, let us, let us take some, some uh, values. So, if we take the first 4 or 5 values, so 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 8. So, 1 upon 2 is 0 0.5, this is 0 0.2, 0 0.125, this is definitely less than 1. So, if we take 1 by 2 plus 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 8 plus 1 upon 11, we add add plus 1 upon 14 bhi add kar de iske andar to ye value bhi 1 se choti aa rahi you can check it yourself but isme jaisi agla term add karte hain so 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 5 plus 1 upon 8 plus 1 upon 11 plus 1 upon 14 plus 1 upon 17 ye value 1 se badi aa jayegi you can check it yourself right to yahan se dikha raha hai pehli panch terms ka jo sum hai wo definitely 1 se chota hai but jaisi hum sixth term add karte hain wo 1 se bada ho raha hai Right, so obviously, यहाँ पर कुछ और बड़ी terms आएंगी, so that जो sum है last वाला, वो छोटे से add हो, uh, and overall sum one के equal आता है, right? But the question is, there has to be at least eight terms, at least eight terms. So this is what we need to prove. Now, how do we do this? How do we do this? So मान लेते हैं, मान लेते हैं कि uh, k terms का sum, k terms का sum 1k equal l. So let there be k terms. Let there be k terms. Let there be k terms, right? So obviously, and terms can be x1, x2, x3, and so on up to xk. And they are all from this set, 2, 5, 8, 11. Up to 5, 8, 11, I know this uh, set is of the form 3k plus 2. 3k plus 2 ki form ka AP hai. So, the sare ka sare numbers 3k plus 2 ki form ke hai. And such that 1 upon x1 plus 1 upon x2 plus 1 upon x3 and so on up to 1 upon xk is equal to 1. We need to prove, we need to prove, we need to prove that k is greater than or equal to 8. We need to prove that k is greater than or equal to 8 because there are k terms in, in, in total. Now, how do we do this? So, if we find a restriction on k, let us try to find a restriction on k by, by, some, by applying some mod uh, on both the sides. Uh, I think we will be done. We know that all the terms are of this form. xi x i is of this form. We will always divide it from 3 to 2. Right? So, this is something which we can use. So, if we try to take the LCM, if we try to take the LCM, the first term of course will be x2 plus x3 up to, oh sorry, not, x2 into x3 up to xk plus the second term would be on the left hand side would be x1, x3, x4 up to xk. The third term would be x1, x2, x4 up to xk and so on and right side, right side can I, can, I, can I multiply, cross multiply x1, x2, x3 on the right hand side? So it will be x1 into x2 into x3 up to xk. So it will be product of all the k numbers. This will be product of all the k numbers. So this is what it is, right? And overall, overall there will be, overall there will be k terms. There will be k terms in total. So this will be, number of terms here will be k. k terms, right? अब बच्चों यहां पर देखो यहां पर देखो दो वर्ल्ड के टर्म्स है एंड यहां पर हर टर्म के अंदर हर टर्म के अंदर देयर आर के माइनस 1 टर्म्स इन प्रोडक्ट 
के माइनस वन टर्म्स है के माइनस वन टर्म्स है के माइनस वन टर्म्स है एंड ओवरऑल हर के टर्म्स में हर हर टर्म के अंदर के माइनस वन टर्म्स होगी राइट साइड में देर बी के टर्म्स एंड एवरी टर्म एवरी टर्म इज ऑफ द फॉर्म थ्री के प्लस टू सो इफ आई टेक मॉड थ्री ऑन बोथ द साइड्स If I take mod three on both the sides, so this is the second hand, bachon. This is the second hand. Try to take mod three on both the sides. Pause this video. Take mod three on both the sides and see if you can reach the result. Take take up around three four minutes uh, after after seeing this hint, pausing this video, and you should be able to get to the result in three four minutes, right? Okay. Now, if we take mod three on both the sides, so x two, x three, x four. Yes, sub k sub. Yes, sub k sub. Two mod three hain. X i basically X i every X i is two mod three, two mod three. So this will be two into two into two k minus one times. So it will be two to the power k minus one plus two to the power k minus one up to two to the power k minus one. So this will be k terms in total. Right side. Right side, it will be two, 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 two k times. So it will be two to the power k mod three. So what we are doing is we are trying to find a restriction on k. So this added k times, it will be k into two to the power k minus one is equivalent to two to the power k mod three. And if I divide this by two to the power k minus one, I get I get k as two mod three. And we are done with the result. So k is two mod three, and k was nothing but the number of terms. So he is saying that k, which is actually the number of terms, this is always of the form two mod three by this, by this uh, particular equality. So k is two mod three. Means k, what can happen? So k can be two, five, eight, eleven, fourteen, and so on. तो नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स हमेशा या तो टू होगी या फाइव होगी या एट होगी या इलेवन होगी या फोर्टीन होगी या सेवनटीन होगी जो इसको सेटिस्फाई करे और हम ऑलरेडी चेक कर चुके हैं फाइव और टू का सो अगर हम बेस्ट फाइव टर्म्स भी लेते हैं बेस्ट फाइव टर्म्स भी लेते हैं दैट मीन्स वन बाय टू प्लस वन बाय फाइव प्लस वन बाय एट प्लस वन बाय इलेवन प्लस वन बाय फोर्टीन ये सम डेफिनेटली वन से छोटा आ रहा है वी कैन वेरीफाई दिस एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी वेरीफाइड दिस वन इसका मतलब टू और फाइव तो वैसे नहीं हो सकता सिक्स से अगर मैं बेस्ट सिक्स टर्म्स लेता हूं वन बाय सेवन एड करता हूं दैट सम इज ग्रेटर देन वन इसका मतलब नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स कैन बी ग्रेटर देन सिक्स ग्रेटर देन और इक्वल टू सिक्स बट ये बोल रहा है नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स हैज टू बी ऑफ द फॉर्म टू मॉट थ्री मतलब नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स या तो एट होंगी या इलेवन होंगी या फोर्टीन होंगी या सेवनटीन होंगी एंड सो ऑन एंड दिस प्रूव्स आर रिजल्ट दिस इज वॉट वी नीड टू प्रूव आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ यू राइट सो नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स Must be at least eight. It cannot be two. It cannot be five because we check for the best five terms. So, सबसे छोटी terms को मैंने add करके uh, proof कर दिया कि वो चीज तो one से छोटी है definitely. So, अगला possibility eight ही आता है. So, it has to be at least eight terms. एक example already तुम्हारे सामने है. और भी examples हो सकते हैं. But eight या eleven या fourteen ही होंगी. And this uh, is what we had to prove. I hope this is clear to each and every one of you. Take care.